we're going to talk about using Kali Linux. Now, Kali Linux is a Linux distribution that is specifically targeted at doing penetration testing or security testing. If you go to Kali.org, you can download the Kali Linux ISO images or VMware images, whatever you choose to actually install. You can also install ARM images as well. We've got a lot of different ways that you can install Kali. And we're going to make use of Kali actually for a number of different tools that it includes by default. So here I've got an install of Kali Linux. So it's got the very latest and greatest tools. Of course, we have our terminal window that we're going to be using a fair amount. But if you click on applications, you'll see Kali Linux here. And you'll see a lot of different categories that Kali supports. So we've got information gathering tools, vulnerability analysis tools, web applications, password attacks, and so on. Where we're going to be focused is actually on wireless attacks. So we're gonna be talking about 802.11 wireless tools. A little bit later on, we can talk about some Bluetooth tools and some other tools that we will be using. So there are a lot of different tools that we can use to test wireless security that are already built into Kali. Now, any other Linux distribution may work well for you. You would have to download and install these. They may be included in the packet that's available for your particular distribution. For example, Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Red Hat or one of the other distributions of Linux. These different tools may be available to you in the package repositories there, or you may have to download and install them by hand. Kali has the advantage of being targeted specifically at this type of testing, and so it already has all of these tools built into it. If it doesn't, we can use the apt utilities in order to install different utilities that we may need. But for the most part, everything that we're going to be using is already here and installed. So you got everything you need. All you've got to do is download Kali. You can run it inside a virtual machine as we are doing here. You can see we're running it inside Parallels Desktop. Or you can certainly install it on your own system if you've got one around that you want to either put a different operating system on or whether you want to dual boot, whatever you want to do. You'll also see Kali NetHunter, which supports the different Nexus tablets. So there's the Nexus 10, the Nexus 7, Nexus 5. You can install a version of Kali Linux onto one of those devices and use it as your penetration testing platform. And again, it will do 802.11 testing and attacks, as well as a number of other attacks. So Kali Linux is what we're going to be using. And you can certainly make use of that. As I said, it's kind of one-stop shopping for the types of testing that we are going to be doing going forward.